welcome to the session on CADCAM CE. So today we will discuss a particular topic like the benefits of CADCAM CE. Now, so today we will discuss what are the advantages of CADCAM CE. So at the end of the session, the students will be able to apply the computer aided design fundamentals as well as advanced manufacturing technology to industry problems. So what we are discussing today? So first we will discuss the product cycle and the CADCAM CE that we have discussed in the last session and after that we will discuss the benefits of the CADCAM CE. So there are the two cases whenever we want to correlate the product cycle and CADCAM CE. So first we will discuss the first case that is product cycle without CADCAM CE. So there are the different we can call as components in case of product cycle without CADCAM CE like there is a customer and market, there is a product concept, there is a design and engineering, drafting that will be the manual drafting, process planning. If suppose there is a requirement of the new equipment and the tooling or maybe the machine tools, production and scheduling, there is a production and the quality control. These are the components which are present in the product cycle. Now, if suppose there is a requirement of the new product, if suppose there is a requirement of the new product means it consists of the, there will be the pro provision of the new design process, there will be the provision of the new manufacturing process, new root sheet in case of the process planning, uh, the, we can call it as the sheet. Now, so whenever we want to create a new product, yes, there will be the, the first uh, step will be product concept. The product concept consists of the definition of the problem. What is meant by definition of the problem? In the simple word, I will call it as the problem statement. Problem statement for the new design, for the new manufacturing process, for the new product. So how my, uh, my product will be, how it will look like? What will be my design process? What are the different dimensions that we have to provide it in the design? What are the different components that we have to keep it in the process planning sheet. What is the material that we have to provide it during the manufacturing operations. So these will be the all the parameters that will be the part of product concept. After that whenever we will finalize the product concept it will go to the design engineering. Now the design engineering consists of a 3D model and also the engineering analysis and both these uh, the sections will be provided with the help of manual work. So manually we are uh, developing maybe the model of uh, a new product, maybe we are creating with the help of orthographic or maybe the isometric sheet, also engineering analysis that we are creating manually. So actual maybe the uh, engineering analysis uh, we are providing here. So after validating the engineering analysis and the 3D model with respect to the design engineering, we are creating the drafting sheet which consists of maybe the front view, top view or maybe the sectional side view isometric view, the, all these drafting sheet will be created manually. After that there will be the process planning of work or maybe the process planner will create a, a root sheet which consists of sequence of cutting operations, types of machine tools, sequence of machine tools with respect to the sequence of cutting operations. So which material we have to use it during the manufacturing process. If suppose there is a requirement of the new machine tool for the manufacturing operation, again uh, we have to order the new equipment or the tooling or the machine tools for the uh, maybe we can call it as the production process or maybe the manufacturing process. After process planning we have to generate the scheduling, we have to create the schedule. What will be the start date of the design, what will be the start date of the manufacturing process, what will be the start of the process planning. So when the product will be in the hands of the customer, when the product will be in the hands of the quality control engineer after the production, each and everything that will be scheduled in case of the scheduling department. So the process planning people and the scheduling people will work together. After that, the actual, we can call it as the manufacturing operations will be provided with the help of the conventional machine tools. Here the conventional machine tools will be used because this is a product cycle without CAD CAM. For example, we are using the center lathe machine, maybe the conventional milling machine, 
drilling machine, grinding machine, shaping machine, etc. After those, uh, after the manufacturing of the product, it will go to the testing, inspection and the quality control department. Manually, there will be the checking of each and every dimension, the surface finish, uh, each and every edges, the hidden surfaces. There will be the checking of each and every aspect of the manufactured product in the quality control. And after that, it will be handed over to the customer. Now, we'll move to the product cycle with CAD CAM, where there will be the use of computer aided design system. There will be the use of computer aided design system uh, to the product concept and the design engineering. There will be the use of computer aided engineering softwares. Uh, we can call it as the 3D modeling softwares, meshing softwares. So after validating the 3D modeling, uh, we can call it as mechanical component and the engineering analysis component. It will be go to the drafting work. So there will be the use of computer aided drafting. So there will be the use of maybe the front view, top view, side view, maybe the isometric view, auxiliary view. Uh, nameplate, bill of material, each and everything will be created with the help of computer aided drafting sheet with the help of 3D modeling softwares. After that, there will be the work of the process planning with the help of computer aided process planning softwares. And if suppose there is a requirement of the ordering of the new equipment and the tooling, yes, we have to order those. Yes, we have to use the new equipment and the tooling for the better production. After that, for the scheduling, there will be the use of computer edit scheduling. So maybe the start date and the end date, we have to provide it as an input, like maybe what will be the start of the design, what will be the start of the process planning, what will be the start of the, uh, we can call it the production, and on what date the product will be handed over to the quality control or maybe the customer that will be calculated with the help of computer edit scheduling software. For the production, there will be the use of industrial automation components like the CNC machine tools, maybe the CNC lathe machine, CNC milling machine, industrial robots, ASRS, AGV. These components will be used for the production system. And after that, whenever the uh, we are manufacturing the final product, it will move to the quality control. It will move to the quality control. So the quality control is also the assistance of the computer that is computer aided quality control. So there will be the use of computer uh, measuring machine that is CMM after that or maybe the coordinate measuring machine, machine vision with the help of which we can have the quality control or the inspection of the final product by the production system. And after that, the manufactured product will be handed over, handed over to the customer. So there is one question in front of you that is what are the components of computer aided design system? You can think about this question and you can answer. So the components of computer aided design system like maybe the geometrical modeling, computer graphics, different we can call it as the hardware and softwares, always the design will be the basics for the computer aided design system. Uh, the types of the geometrical modeling, geometrical transformation, these are the components of computer aided design system. Today's our concept that is benefits of the computer aided design system. There are the different benefits like the productivity improvement. Yes, so whenever we are using the different softwares or maybe the assistance of the computer for the design process like 3D modeling software, engineering analysis software like the CATIA, SOLIDWORKS, ANSYS, LSDANA, NASTRON, these are the softwares which will be helpful for you for the design process or maybe computer aided design, computer aided engineering with the help of which there will be the productivity improvement in the design. So whenever there will not be any wastage of time between the two processes that is the design and manufacturing or maybe the engineering analysis that will be the shorter lead time. For the design and analysis we are using computer aided design and computer aided analysis or engineering analysis respectively. As there will not be any manual work uh, in the computer aided design system, yes, there will be the very less chances of the errors and the mistakes. Yes, always the computer aided design systems will be the standardized process with respect to the different softwares that we are using it in the same firm, like the 3D modeling softwares, maybe the meshing software, or maybe the computer aided manufacturing softwares, or maybe the analysis softwares. 
more understandable point that we will discuss it in the uh, the next slide yes ease of change and the review suppose i want to change my model yes uh, or i want to modify that particular 3d model yes with respect to the software there are the different types of icons the editing or the modification is very easy yes a very uh, there is a greater accuracy in the design calculations yes we have to provide the a correct input the output will be very accurate and precise suppose i want to reuse the already created maybe the 3d model or engineering analysis models yes i can reuse and i can modify and we can create the new design suppose i want to read the particular 3d model i want to observe i want to visualize that particular 3d model which will be very easy to read suppose i want to share the particular 3d model or engineering analysis model i can share it very easily with the help of a uh, different exchange format drawing exchange format for the more understandable point there is one simple concept like if suppose i am having the different types of uh, geometrical modeling like wireframe modeling surface modeling or solid modeling solid modeling is better uh, is for the better understanding of the model if suppose uh, we are adding with the colors or the shading or the material with respect to the simulation again uh, it will be for the more and more understanding always orthographic is a very basic sheet or the basic view always we are preferring to the maybe the isometric sheet or maybe the perspective sheet so these are the references thank you thank you